everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Cizaboo and today we are going to be doing another episode of Cizaboo's Manga Talk. Currently we are working on the Pokemon Adventures Book 1 series and today we've actually hit chapters 13 and 14. We're going to only be covering those two chapters today because if you're following along in the original version of the manga, this is actually the end to the first original book. So don't worry, we've still got a lot to cover today. So go ahead and sit back and relax and let's see what Red is doing over in Lavender Town. Adventure 13, Psy for Psyduck. Our adventure continues in a dark and gloomy Lavender Town with Red and the team running, trying to take cover from the nasty rain. Except for Bulbasaur, he really seems to be enjoying it. While running, Red tries asking the locals if there's a good place to take shelter, but many of them give him the cold shoulder or just simply ignore him. Jeez, is this Lavender Town or leave them their town? Not very trusting people, are they? An older gentleman approaches Red, startling him. The man is crouched down at a small grave. Red leans in to take a closer look. Doduo, rest in peace. Red quickly joins the man in honoring his deceased Pokemon friend. He lived to a ripe old age, my beloved Pokemon, but his time came at last. The gentleman is pleased with Red's manners and asks him to follow him home where he can get warm and dry from the rain. Red is relieved and takes the man's offer. While resting, the old man explains to Red the history of Lavender Town, that it is a town meant for honoring the souls of Pokemon, deceased Pokemon. It is also home to the Pokemon Cemetery. Red becomes confused and asks why didn't he build a memorial for his duduo at the cemetery? Because no one dares ventures near the tower. Whenever we risk it, they appear. They? Red asks. It's the ghosts. Red jerks in fear. But actually, he laughs. The old man stands his ground, reassuring to Red that they are very much real. All the townsfolk know to avoid the tower. The fear in his eyes show it. The fear in their eyes show it. In fact, it's why they are so cold and to themselves. Red turns around and sees the man still sad and staring at the picture of his beloved Duduo. You must have really cared for your Duduo, but Blue? In the photo, he notices Blue in the background. The man asks if he knows the boy, and Red exclaims that Blue is his rival. But why is he in the photo, and where is he now? The man tells Red that Blue passed by shortly before Duduo passed and that he shared the same opinions as Red about the ghosts. He ran off to the tower to show up her foolishness. That was two weeks ago. He hasn't come back. So Blue was missing? The guy's personality could use some improvement, but as a Pokemon trainer, he's the real thing. He doesn't go down easy. So what could put him out of action for two weeks? Red wastes no time and rushes to the Pokemon Cemetery. Once Red arrives, his attitude changes. Once laughing at ghosts, now has Red shaking in his boots. As Red makes his way through the cemetery, a deep fog begins to set in. And that's when he notices Psyduck. And then even more Pokemon appear. The Psyduck draws closer and then screeches in Red's face, its skin peeling and falling off its bones and eyes are completely gone. It was a zombie. Red flies back and screams, sending Bulbasaur out. He tries to pull off a razor leaf and then a sleep powder attack, but then it has no effect. The zombie Pokemon closes in on Red. He's completely trapped. Red tries to make a run for it as the zombie Pokemon closes in, but that's when a purple haze cuts off his escape. A powerful flame shoots past Red. Was he being saved? He turns around and sees Blue. You're okay, I never thought I'd be glad to say that, Red cheers. He approaches Red, but is quickly cut off by another powerful flame. Blue and his Charmeleon glare at Red with a menacing look in their eyes. Adventure 14, that awful Arbok. Blue, talk to me, buddy. Red calls out for Blue, but no answer. Blue quickly attacks Red and wastes no time. Was he being controlled? By the fog, maybe? Bulbasaur holds its ground. Red remembers the information from his Pokédex. There's only one Pokémon I know who can take over bodies like this. One gas Pokémon with psychic abilities. Ghastly. Ghastly finally makes its appearance and Red takes control of the situation. 
Bulbasaur swipes at Ghastly with a powerful vine whip. Ghastly is spooked and releases its grip on Blue and Charmeleon. They both fall to the ground, completely zapped of their energy. With Ghastly weakened, Bulbasaur charges up and releases a powerful solar beam, blasting Ghastly out of the cemetery and out of Lavender Town. Blue comes too. Oh, it's just you. Red is actually happy to see him back to his old self. Blue actually thanks Red in a blue kind of way and pats dust off of himself. Red tries to get them to leave the tower, but instead Blue stomps off in anger. Thinks he can cast a spell on me, does he? Red is confused. Who is he? Wasn't it Ghastly that was behind all this? Suddenly, a large wave of poisonous slime hurls towards Red. Blue's Charmeleon carries the two to safety. A familiar ninja stands above them, ready for battle. But this ninja, Red has met him before. At Mount Moon, he's... I am one of Team Rocket's elite triad, Ninja Koga. Koga reveals that the tower is actually their hideout and that the ghosts were being used as a way to cover their secret schemes. Koga sends out Arbok to attack Red and Blue and they decide to make a run for it. Arbok continues to spit acid, burning concrete walls and stairs. Koga is actually controlling his Pokemon from a distance and monitoring their every move on a small device. Charmeleon tries to use Reflect, but Arbok breaks through the barrier and sprays acid on Charmeleon. Koga laughs. The battle is over. Or is it? Out of nowhere, Arbok is literally, quite literally, sliced in half. The acid actually hits the zombie Psyduck from earlier. Koga is defeated. I won't forget this, little worms. He flies away off of his gold bat. Red and Blue finish their adventure in Lavender Town by visiting the old man. The old man is very pleased and tells Red that thanks to him, the townspeople and folk are freed and lively again. Red laughs. Oh geez, I wish I could tell you I did it, but he's the one you've got to thank. Blue walks away as the old man and Red watch, and Red departs Lavender Town, ready for his next adventure. And that is the end of the first book of the Pokemon Adventures series. So yes, I have the original book and we are also going based off of the giant adventure series collection that I have. So as you can see, we've actually done quite a bit. So since this episode was so short today, let's kind of go ahead and do like a recap of the full first book. I want to say that it's been really cool seeing how the author and creator of the story, Hidenori Kusaka and the artist Mato have their own version of the Pokemon world. First of all, the kind of adult themes that we have going on, the battles, say for instance, Poliwhirl getting stabbed by Fero or Charmeleon completely like cutting Arbok in half is really crazy. It's stuff that you don't see in the original anime and in the game. Also, it's really cool that the gym leaders just kind of have personalities outside of I am gym leader. Koga being evil and being with Team Rocket, Lieutenant Surge scheming on the Saint Anne and trying to do things, Misty helping out Red. Playing with the series is that it, sometimes it's hard to tell when Red is getting his gym badges or when he's just taking on a challenge. I gotta say though that I do love Red's team so far. We've got Snorlax, we've got Bulbasaur, we've got Poliwhirl and the Pikachu. That's a pretty unique team. Blue has a Charmeleon, which I'm sure that we'll be seeing Charizard soon. And I know that another character exists and I know that she is going to have the awesome Blastoise line. So it's all gonna be really cool to see. But overall, the plot, the art, everything has been amazing with the series so far. And that's just the first book. So we've still got a lot to go. So if you wanna join me on my Pokemon manga adventure series, make sure that you like the video for more and you subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all next time. Next time we're going to be covering five more adventure chapters. So I'm super excited. I'm loving the series so far and I hope that you are too. Anyway, catch you in the next episode. I post every Monday. Peace out. Bye.